Okay, it is, uh, what is it, uh, Thursday, a little bit before 2 o'clock, actually, right around 1.30. And uh, we, of course, are going to be focusing on our next snow system that uh, will affect us late Sunday now into Monday. I think the timing, and I'll get into the timing a little bit more tomorrow with a real thorough update on this storm system tomorrow via text, but the timing I'm thinking is, is going to be between about 9 p.m. on Sunday until about noon on Monday. Okay, what you're looking at right now is uh, this is the uh, European forecast, and um, this is what we call 500 millibar heights. And these are the anomalies, so areas that are unusually low in heights are depicted by the blue colors here. And then, of course, higher heights, which means uh, rising thicknesses in our atmosphere, usually means more pleasant weather or warmer weather. The rising heights are located in the Ohio Valley on west into the Corn Belt. And that is for Sunday. Okay, so we're expecting some fairly warm or mild air, at least Sunday in our region, um, before things start to change. What I mean by that is take a look at what happens on Monday with our heights. You can see right here, right in South Dakota, right in the heart of the Plains states here, a disturbance. This is a disturbance where heights are lowering, which means um, our atmosphere is uh, starting to make some noise out here in South Dakota. And this would be on Monday morning. And usually out ahead of a developing or lowering area of heights, you would get uh, some sort of a storm system, and that would mean kind of right in this area here of the upper Midwest. And of course, that's exactly what we're going to be expecting. Okay, let's get to the GFS computer model guidance. The, the previous guidance that we just looked at was the Euro. Now we get to the GFS guidance, and of course, we're looking at the uh, jet stream at uh, 30,000 plus feet. And uh, we all, of course, as, as usual, we forecast from the top down, and we're looking at the top of our atmosphere right now. These are the steering winds, and here's one jet streak right here, just north of the Great Lakes and north of uh, Minnesota, pushing off to the east. And then this powerhouse jet streak now coming in to uh, Kansas and Oklahoma, winds at about 150 plus knots in that portion of the country. And that's very important because on the nose or on the left front quad, which would be right in this area of that jet streak, that's where you would get intense lift. And not only that, but we are in the right rear quad of this jet streak. So uh, again, we're right in the middle of two jet streaks, which is a perfect area for lift, which means a storm system, which means precipitation. And that is what we are expecting. This was this is the jet stream structure for Sunday night. And then as we go into Monday, you can see Monday evening the jet streak moves off to the east. So the inclement weather on Monday would push off, at least Monday night would push off further east of us. So that's why we are expecting precipitation to come to an end during the day on Monday, probably in, on Monday afternoon. But until then, just a perfect jet structure for at least some type of precipitation on Sunday night and into Monday morning, right in southern Minnesota and much of Wisconsin. All right, let's see if we've got some consensus between the guidance. So that last model guidance was the GFS, the American model guidance. Now here's the European model guidance for the same time period. Here it is for Sunday evening. And look, it has the jet streak going from just north of northern Minnesota on east into Ontario and then towards the east coast of uh, Canada and uh, the United States. And then, of course, this powerhouse jet streak now coming in to Kansas and Oklahoma. So this looks almost exactly, at least from a jet structure, looks almost exactly to what the GFS computer model guidance shows, which means uh, we're going to be pretty confident in some snow and maybe even some ice breaking out over much of southern Minnesota and uh, almost the whole state of Wisconsin as we get into Sunday night and Monday. Good news for people up in northern Minnesota. I think uh, with this jet structure, this should keep much of northern Minnesota dry. This looks to be mostly a southern Minnesota storm and Wisconsin storm, which of course is our region, and that's why we need to be very concerned about how this storm unfolds with time. Okay, here's the future radar from the European computer model guidance. And this is looking at Sunday morning. You can already see some snow now breaking out over Montana, moving 
towards North Dakota. And then as we go through the day Sunday and into Sunday evening now, you can see a healthy swath of snow now over southern North Dakota and northern South Dakota. This is accumulating snow with the tra trajectory of it basically moving almost straight east or just a touch south of east right towards our region. All right, then as we get towards midnight on Sunday, that's when I'm expecting the uh, storm to really hit our region. Again, that's why I'm saying uh, the window for the storm as of right now looks to be between about 9 p.m. Sunday and probably noon on Monday because by midnight Sunday, pretty much all of our region from Eau Claire in western Wisconsin on back west through much of southern Minnesota will be experiencing snow. So now, this is going to extend as far south as certainly as Rochester, the way it appears, and about as far north as St. Cloud. Then, as we get into Monday morning, this is probably just when the snow is going to start winding down would be at about the commute time on Monday morning. But by then, we're going to be expecting uh, quite a bit of snow to fall in our region. And then, of course, by Monday evening, most of the system moves away, but still I wouldn't be surprised if some flurries, you can see some flurries, some very light snow coming out of North Dakota into Minnesota, that still may affect us Monday evening. But the big time accumulating snows should be finished, oh, like I had mentioned, by about noon or so on Monday. Okay, how much snow is going to be falling? Well, this is from the European Computer Model Guidance, but again, we, we've got a consensus here between uh, the European guidance, the GFS American model, and the Canadian model, they're all predicting a, a healthy swath of snow to come right through southern Minnesota, basically with the axis of heaviest snow coming right across our region. If you were to draw a line from O'Wilmer, Minnesota, on east right through the southern Twin Cities metro, and then continuing east through Eau Claire. So this would include areas such as uh, Red Wing, Eau Claire, um, all of the Twin Cities metro, even Rochester is going to get on what appears to be a three to as much as six inch type snowfall, certainly enough to shovel and plow. And there may even be some areas that get in excess of six inches when all is said and done. And we will fine tune that as we get into this weekend. So the storm comes ashore now on, uh, this year would be Saturday. So Saturday evening, we'll have a pretty good idea, at least a better idea on snow totals. I'll probably come out with a snow total map of my own uh, later in the day tomorrow for you. Uh, and then, of course, fine-tune it as we start getting into uh, Sunday and then, of course, by uh, Monday morning. All right, take care, everybody, and it's going to be a busy weekend uh, for me and I'm sure for you, and be ready for uh, some snow on Monday.